Okay, guys, we are continuing to uh, to respond to some of the questions on the spreadsheet. Uh, the next column is going to deal with the date and days calculations. However, the most important thing is for you to format the date column so that they are consistent with the dates that appears on the paper. So when we come back to the spreadsheet, you read us that we got the arrival date there and then you've got the column for the departure your question paper format it is meant it is it appears this way with the day the short version of the month and the short version of the year so some of you struggle to make sure that the date on your spreadsheet appears the same as the ones on the paper i will show you how to quickly change that most of the question papers the date function appear in terms of the united states format so what you do you go to you've got here clipboard font alignment and number you go to number format and under the number format you're gonna look for the united states under lo uh, uh, location you're gonna look for English United States and you're gonna scroll and you're gonna find the shortened version of the year so you can look for most of the time it's either gonna be United States United Kingdom or South Africa so in this case you realize that the the format used in terms of the date is the United States so you say you, you select the one that appears on your your paper uh, let me go to United States and then you click on it and then you say okay it's going to change your date format to look like the one that is on the paper so it may change from time to time between England uh, uh, English United Kingdom English South Africa or English United States so the next question is they're looking for the duration of stay in days the duration of stay in days which means you have to do the arrival subtract from the departure so, sorry the departure subtract from the arrival the, I'm going to show you the quickest way to do it just gonna do equal sign and then you go departure then you press the subtract sign then you go to arrival before you press enter because arrival is uh, at an awkward location you have to reference it so you're going to press f4 on your keyboard you're going to press f4 so that you reference the location you're going to see with the dollar sign that you have pressed f4 so it means you have referenced that location because you need this a, a, a cell here to be referenced on all of them then when you're done you press enter it says the duration of stay in days is 30 days for paper then you do the fill down function normally i just come here to the corner and i drag down and do the calculations for me so we are done with the duration of stay remember what is important is for you to reference the arrival because it's at an awkward location and you need to use this cell for all of your calculations so please subscribe because we're going to be doing all these columns and we're going to be doing them clip by clip